Yes, Superintendent Brad Winter and Education Secretary Hannah Scandera are aware of the protests and the tech problems. So how do they think the first day of testing went? Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer sat down with both to find out. Albuquerque Public Schools interim superintendent Brad Winter says the first day of the park exam was a success. I think the test went very well today. It was very surprising. During a dry run last month, APS did report some technological issues with the park. The state's new standardized test that's taken entirely on computers. But when the real exam rolled out, so no issues with the computers, logging on, anything like that, no, not having enough computers. No, from what I heard, everything went very well. But the day wasn't without some hiccups. ABS says testing was suspended at two schools after one lost power and another was put on lockdown. New Mexico's Education Secretary Hannah Scandera is also putting a positive spin on things. We've got a few things to, to work out overnight, but overall, it was a great day. Then there are the opt outs and the walkouts. At ATS, more than 1,700 students chose to opt out of the test, and 1,000 others chose to protest the exams. That's on top of the hundreds of other students all across the state that chose to walk out. Despite the opposition, Scandera says she believes in park and hopes others will come around too. Disappointed that folks aren't in class and, and just know that this is, this is an important assessment. It's the best assessment we've ever had. As for APS, Winter says his schools will stay the course. I'm going to do what I'm told to do. Federally, if it's mandated, we have to give the park. We're going to give the park and we're going to be ready to do that. Even if scenes like this play out again. Mike Springer, KWT Action 7 News.